I would just like to say thank you to all of our First Coast volunteers. Without you, we cannot make the impact in this community that is happening right now. The relationship between volunteers and staff is the magic sauce that really makes it happen. There are two different types of volunteers that work with the YMCA. <laughs> That's supposed to be a place. Well, I began to volunteer at the Y when I moved to Jacksonville in 1991. Dr. Cohen, who's a friend of mine who runs the Johnson Family YMCA, asked me a donation from my company. And then he asked me to be a board member. And so once I became a board member, it just kind of opened up all kinds of opportunities. Uh, there are policy-making volunteers and program volunteers. My journey here started around 2014, towards the end, in August. Volunteering starting in uh, Jacksonville in Fleming Allen, Florida, started about 1999. I would sit there and see the enjoyment, you know, that the other coaches are having, how much fun they're having volunteering. It's like, I want a piece of that excitement. I had retired from work, and I needed something else to do. My wife, she was coming before I was coming. And she said that uh, she was always going to come if I wanted to stay home. I'd stay home, but I decided, no, I'm not going to stay home by myself. I come to the Y and help other folks. I'm always helping uh, Freda with the activities that she's planning, and just wherever I'm, wherever else I'm needed. Our program volunteers—they're there on Saturdays. They're there after school. They're coaches. They are helping clean. It's the enjoyment you get from it you won't really receive in coaching, I feel like, somewhere else. Because here you learn what it is to really coach. You learn what it is to really want to play, like, you know, help these kids. You want to change somebody's life at one point. You know, keep, like I said, keep them off the street. Lovely lady ran Daystar, and uh, uh, we just fell in love with the place. Well, it's not volunteering. You walk through that door and you feel the love. <laughs> That's a nice feeling. Uh, and when you leave here, <clears throat> I spent 29 years in the infantry <laughs> and I'm a tough guy. No, I'm not. Uh, they're very, very special. When I hear stories like that, it just makes me feel good that I actually work for an organization that's able to really be a part of that servant leadership style, but also um, help impact the community. I turned 90 last, 22nd of March. Still in good health, have my mind. So I owe some of that coming to the YMCA for 13 years. As a YMCA staff person, it, it, I see it every day, the commitment that our volunteers have to their community. Because camp took care of me when I was a young boy and changed me into a different person, a better person, and helped me attain successes in life that I never would have attained without the Y. And being able to be part of that and enabling that Y mission to continue makes me feel good. And so it makes me feel the same as if you were taking care of your family, because in the Y, we are all a family. And, uh, it is truly humbling as a staff person to get to work with some of the greatest leaders in our community. This year I'm campaign chair for the Y, so that's even more exciting and it's more responsibility, but you know, I just feel like I can contribute and help more, so I mean, hopefully it'll be three more years or even longer. As a Metro board member, m much more of my volunteerism is oriented toward the business of the Y, the, 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 the governance and management of finance. Education was the greatest gift my parents gave me, and they, it took them everything to be able to provide that for me. And I've never lost sight of that. But there were times when my volunteerism was um, coaching basketball 
with um, inner city kids. And to provide that for as many kids um, who are deserving, and they're all deserving, um, yeah, then if I can do that in some way, not just for my own children, but for any child out there, it's the, it's the least we can do as a community. I remember well seeing that we had a team and there were probably four or five um, you know, bright, shiny, blonde-haired kids and four or five really handsome uh, inner-city African-American kids. And they bonded in a, in a fun way, not just playing basketball, but we'd go bowling, we would go skating, we would do things together. There's a saying, you know, philanthropy to those who are deserving isn't charity at all, it's justice. And vegetables. And vegetables. And these kids deserve every opportunity that we can give them. And when you do, they shine and they excel. They've proven that time and time and again. And so that element, in, in, in addition to simply teaching a skill, you know, here's how you play basketball, you teach teamwork and camaraderie and discipline and, and, and practice and preparation. It's a sense of fulfillment. To see their smiling faces and to see that they have an opportunity to be a kid. You're good at writing your name. What's your germ's name? Jack. No. Jack Zombie. And I have to worry about the day-to-day -day things that they may have to, to worry about that we don't think about. Well, it's more ways to serve the community. It's more ways to touch lives and, and lives that we want to touch in, throughout the community. I mean, the Winston Y is a wonderful achievement and accomplishment, but so too is the Johnson Family Y in, in the Northwest Quadrant. It's something that's extremely important to what we're trying to accomplish in the greater community. So uh, it means a lot to me just to see the Y expand and grow its reach and touch seniors, touch inner city kids, touch uh, so many different uh, segments of our, of our community in a positive way. Seeing these kids' faces. My germ's blue. Your germ's blue? It lights you up, um, seeing their smiles on their faces, seeing them walk through these halls, seeing the way they take to education, take to opportunity. You know, it's everything we can do to present them with the same life, the same opportunities, the same education as any kid out there deserves to get. You know, when they meet other kids that are from different neighborhoods that aren't like their own, an opportunity to find some diversity and friendship, I think that's a beautiful thing. There's nobody out there who should start at an un, uneven playing field, but unfortunately that's, that's how it works. So why not, why not put these kids in a position of a level playing field? And like I said, time and time again, they've proven they're adequately or even more so qualified to succeed than kids with far greater opportunities. What's next? Yeah. Kids who know they're going home to a refrigerator full of food. Kids who know that somebody's going to be picking them up that day for carpool. There's a mentor in all of us. And if we just take the time to think about what we can offer someone else, it, I think it's a really cool thing, especially a younger child. I, I wouldn't have done it for 27 years if it weren't fun and rewarding. And I would certainly encourage in anyone else who is looking for a, an outlet for the community to consider the why and whether you you know, work out the why or not, it really just is a way that can help you touch community in so many different ways. Both sets of volunteers are very important. They do different things. They give back in different ways. Go talk to someone who does a lot of volunteer work and say, hey, can I tag along and just see what you do? And again, it's not just uh, cutting a check, which is always, it's important too. It's collaboration, it's time, it's effort. My passion is to make sure camp is running well and getting back to a resident model and inserting all the legacy that I had when I was a kid here. There are, you know, Tiger Academy is near and dear to my heart, but there are many deserving people out there who need opportunities. The other thing is, is uh, don't decide to build the Empire State Building the first time you volunteer. Do it a little bit. Get your toes wet. Dip your toe in the water. But then after you do it, you're going to find that it's very rewarding. It, it, as you look at the panoply of, of 
opportunity to contribute to your community, um, I'd say there's none better than the YMCA.